Hi everyone, welcome to the presentation. In this video, I'm going to give you the demo of this application check dimensions and properties. This application will display the dimension of selected secondary parts in relation to the primary part. Along with that, you can also display selected attributes and additional attributes. Just for an example, you can see here. So if you check these boxes, it will just untype the variable name. It will display model total weight and part prefix along with this dimension and name. Obviously, you have to choose uh, the correct data type. You have three data type formats. You can use this uh, tool uh, checking dimensions in plan view and in elevation. Let's get started. Click on this select primary and secondary. Pick the primary member and pick the secondary members. Press the middle mouse. It will automatically display the dimensions. Now you can see it shows the name of the primary member. That's um, zoom ratio is 600. Increase the ratio if you wanted to make it a little bit bigger. Let me just do it for uh, these members. Pick the primary and select the secondaries and press the middle mouse. Now you can see it is not displaying the dimension uh, to this member because it is outside the bounding box. Actually, this application will show the dimension of all the secondary within the bounding box of uh, the primary part. Let me just move this one inside. Click redraw view. Again, I pick the primary and pick all the secondary. Press the middle mouse. So here you can see. Let's see this uh, in elevation view. I'll pick this uh, rafter as primary part. If I do the cross selection, it is going to pick all the other objects within the bounding box. So what I would do is I'll pick the purlins in plan view. Let me also select this by pressing the control key. Press the middle mouse. Next, it is asking me to pick a horizontal beam for view plane. So you can see the status bar bottom left. You can pick any horizontal member or diagonal member. Once I click, it shows the dimensions. See, it actually uh, shows the dimension to the reference point of the member. It will not display the dimension for the plates even if you select it because we have written uh, coding to ignore the plates. Let me just do it once again, uh, redraw the view. I'm taking this new tool. Pick the primary member and secondary members. Press the middle mouse and pick any horizontal member. Here you can see. So this is the zoom ratio. So if you wanted to make it bigger, you can uh, increase the zoom ratio. And this is the label locations, 50%, which means it will display in the middle. If I change this one to 10%, let's see, pick the primary and pick the secondaries, press the middle mouse and click on any horizontal member. So this is the 10% uh, of uh, the column or the primary part. As you have seen the benefit of using this application because it displays the dimension of the secondary parts uh, in relation to the primary part. I'm sure this will be a huge advantage if you start using it in your model. So feel free to get in touch with me if you need this application. Otherwise, you can go to my website and buy this tool. And thank you so much for watching this video.